I lost my Minecraft world back in 2017, and all I had left was a bunch of maps and diagrams that I spent five years revising and refining. Now come with me as I go on an adventure to get back my Minecraft world and to make it bigger and better than it ever was. This is Boaty Gamer Minecraft. Okay, we're back in another episode of Boaty Gamer Minecraft, and this time I'm going to show you one of the trademarks of my Minecraft world called a horse diode. So, but basic, basically, what it does is it lets the horse go in one direction but not the other. And here we are in the first village we're going to um, do for this episode. It's called Fort Nethermore. And if you notice that this looks like the passage of a nether fortress, it's because we're basically going to build a nether fortress in the overworld but of course the first step is going to be our first diode and let me first show you the picture of the redstone diagram there it is and this is a, this is how we're going to build it so we're first going to begin with the outgoing lane uh, obviously we're going to the right side of the road Despite my accent, I know I, know I sound British, but I'm from Mexico, so left side of the road, so here. And you know what, now that I think about it, the incoming is going to be the, the easiest to do first. So first we're going to build an arc. And that's the arc. Obviously, I... I am using creative Minecraft for because to make things easier, but obviously if you want to make it in survival, you could use things like scaffolding and, and such. I'm in currently Minecraft 1.12 for reasons. I don't have scaffolding yet, so I would need to use creative mode anyway. So the first thing we're gonna do is make there's one platform here. Trip wire, trip wire, and string. This is why this is what is going to detect our horse coming. And we'll build for now this. So this is where the redstone is going to come out from and lucky enough that the sand here is two blocks down from our surface so we're going to build the redstone repeaters according to the diagram I mentioned before so there it is and Obviously there is some flexibility on, on the layout, like for example, I sometimes like to put the um, second the redstone over the red the repeater with four over here, making it give it kind of a staggering look. And next one, two, three, and four. And obviously we need to make a bit of a space here and make a hole where we're going to put some pistons. These are sticky pistons, they have to be sticky pistons. And on these sticky pistons we're going to attach redstone blocks. And another three red, another three pistons. So what this is going to do is, when the horse comes, these these pistons are going to retract. And three and pave the rest of the road.
and here to cover this redstone here and this is where the arch is going to be to end the diode so now we have the diode on this side now we have to prepare for the up part of the of the diode okay so here the first thing we're gonna do is build the same arch the, the same three blocks wide this now leaves an entrance only one block tall nothing nothing can pass well spiders I guess but not players not horses nothing and we build two up and six bits and looking down three of them make a shape as such and this is to accommodate our repeaters and we're going to lay the redstone like this this is where it does kind of constrain you to one layout compactness but it's the same principle so what these um, repeaters do is the one repeater prevents the uh, the circuit from latching so a latch would mean that once the horse passes through it would never turn off we don't want that we want the uh, the gate to close after the horse has gone through the eight repeaters, so the two four repeaters here, make sure that the gate stays open long enough that the, that the horse can actually pass through. And you need this four here so that so that it doesn't open and close midway through. So we have that done. We have the we have the platform and. make this little ramp for the redstone here and here and now if we test it you'll see that it now lets us through but obviously not in the other direction Just like that, we have an arch and the same layout we did on this side, we're going to build on the other side. Okay, now that we have the thing on both sides, the, the layout, we're going to have to cover this entire thing. Now, of course, to streamline the process, I use command blocks, so I have to actually write down the command here and of course this being an older version of minecraft i can't just uh, get help from her from the system so i just have to kind of figure it out on my own Here, because we already have one face, we can just clone it from one side to the other. And there we have it, the two plates, and we now need to do the barriers between them.
suppose I made a bit of a mistake here. That's kind of the negative thing that can happen with when you're using command blocks. You never know when you made a typo and there is no undo button. So I have to do some repairs here. And, and replace the torch that had been destroyed by the typo and put this part of the roof that I had previously forgotten about. But now that I have the command block from the previous one, I can just rewrite the one parameter, the Z coordinate, of Z coordinate, and there we have it. Now, for the top, it is important that we prevent the inside of the diode from becoming a place where mobs can spawn, because that can obviously be a problem, so we're going to use glowstone. There we are! That's our diode, and of course this particular village of Fort Nethermore is going to need more diodes, one for each highway exit, and that's what we're gonna do next, so we're, go we're going to build a bit of a, a platform and the rest of the diodes for, for uh, the actual exit of the village to be viable. And there we have it, um, the, the four, the, well, the five um, diodes that are going to be needed by this village. And obviously not much of the actual village is built because there's still a lot to be built and it will be featured in the next episode or the next few episodes depending on exactly how much I have, we have to build. But so far, as far as the horse diodes, we're done. And see you on the next episode.